All right, so here we are for another match with Green White Slivers. Gonna keep this hand. Don't have a one drop, unfortunately. By that I mean I can't cast it on turn one, but I still think this hand is okay. Uh, next turn we're probably gonna go spin a red sliver rather than just boss mings hands. Uh, yeah, I think that's definitely what we're gonna do. Actually, I could go side one sliver, and then. Nah, that doesn't sound very good. Yeah, we're just going to go 2-2-2. Two two two. We're just going to go Grizzly Bear and pass the turn. Whoop. Alright, so my opponent Firebolted and then played a Ponder off of Crumbling Vestige. Or Vestige, whatever the hell it is. Um, so here I think I'll just play the Sidewinder Sliver and put the Blossoming Sands into play. Drawing the fifth land, kind of poopy. But, um, you know. Is what it is. Not sure what I'm up against with Crumbling Vestige in it. Could be blue red Tron. I don't know what Crumbling Vestige would do in any deck, but eh, what do I know? So my opponent chose to shuffle their library and then went bottom top with Preordain, so their hand could be really bad for all I know. We drew another Lord though, so that's pretty good. So we're gonna get in for three and pass the turn. My opponent went bottom top with the preordain and went lightning bolt. Oh, another land. That's poop. In for four. Pass the turn. What is this? Seagate Oracle. All right. I think if my opponent kills another creature. I've gone past the point of being able to win. Uh, maybe I'll, I guess it's uh, blue red Drake. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't really think we need to play that ahead of time. But I think it's better to just remove this now. My opponent, I think, did F6, but then changed their mind as soon as I played something. That was weird. Alright, just do this. And we're not casting anything else. Just pass the turn. So, if I'm up against Blue-Red Drake, that matchup is pretty hard. You, you almost just... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Blue-Red Drake. You almost just can't beat it, so I kind of just didn't add any sideboard cards to it. It's virtually impossible to beat the Blue-Red Drake deck with this deck. Um, you're just not fast enough, they just have way too many removal spells, and you just, you don't have enough ways to really draw any cards. And my opponent is getting infinite card advantage right now. So, I'm going to pause and come back when they're done. Alright, so my opponent's showing the combo, I'm not going to make him go through it. <laughs> I don't really have the patience for that crap. Uh, by crap I mean I don't have the patience to... See if my opponent times out or whatnot. I, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, I don't like when people do it to me, so I'm not gonna do it to somebody else. Um, so as far as what cards to bring in, there really isn't anything. There's Sunlance, which is infinitely better than Journey to Nowhere because it kills all the same creatures, but it's only one mana. But it's one mana cheaper. And then of course you can bring in God's Willing. Uh, Spinneret Sliver is not great, and Hive Stirrings cost a little too much mana. So we're going to go back in. But yeah, this is... uh, We're going to keep this hand. I think it's okay. This is one of the decks that does not play against Blue-Red Drake at all whatsoever. <clears throat> so just got to kind of pretend like it doesn't exist. I mean, I guess you, you can. It's possible. It's just not likely. It kind of sucks that I had to go turn one uh, Verulean Sliver there. And then um, I... You know, had to put a tap land in play, but I think that's fine. I think this hand was good enough to keep with two lords in it and a sidewinder sliver in case I did draw an untapped planes. As if a planes would come into play tapped, I guess. <laughs> Although my opponent looks like they're playing turbo uh, combo because they're playing ponder and whatnot. I don't know what crumbling vestige does in the deck. That I couldn't tell you. I wish I knew why that was in the deck. Eh, no, not really my problem. Commune with nature. Uh, it's not that great now, so we'll just go muscle sliver, get in for two and a poison, pass the turn. Verulean sliver is what really allows you to race against this type of deck. Um, him killing the muscle sliver, actually, I'm not really uh, upset by that. I kind of want to keep the Verulean sliver going as long as possible. A land here would be great. A 
Um, an untapped land, that is. Because then I could go two slivers in one turn. Commune with Nature will hopefully find another Virulian Sliver at some point. Because that's really the only thing that you can do. Oh, well, alright. I guess we could do, do just do that. If my opponent has Electricery, I'm boned. But there's nothing I can do about that. So, get in. A lightning Bolt. Another Lightning Bolt? Yeah. Oh, Fire Bolt, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, here we go. Sentinel Sliver here. Oh, my opponent didn't counter it. Wow, okay. Just get in for one. <clears throat> my opponent actually F6'd that turn, which was interesting to know. And is this the... Oh, Mole Drifter, okay. Well, Mole Drifter's not really scary. Alright, that was a good draw. So now we can go over Ruin Sliver into Muscle Sliver. Get in for four plus two poison counters, or five, rather, I should say. Plus two poison counters. And that gets back Lightning Bolt, probably to kill my Muscle Sliver, I would assume. Yep. Alrighty then. Does my phone attack for two, I suppose, is a good question. Looks like they don't. Alright, come in with Nature. <laughs> well, it was the only creature there. Still a good creature. Alright. And swing for six, or well, seven and three poison counters. So my opponent's up to nine poison, but it looks like they have the win. So that was unfortunate. Had I gotten to another Virulian Sliver, it might have forced my opponent to block with the Mole Drifter, but is what it is. So yeah, like I said, you uh, your matchup against the Blue-Red Drake deck is just horrible. You can't really do much. Yep, alright, I'm just going to concede. My opponent has the win. So that was showing you just how much <laughs> how much better Blue Red Jake is of the Sliver deck. And uh yeah, join for another match. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.